I found out yesterday, and I finally did this video today. I found out yesterday that one of my favorite actors slash comedians, Robin Williams, he um, committed suicide and fixated himself. And despite, you know, that he lived a pretty good age, 63 years old, I was shocked. It's not because the fact that he died. It's not like he was too young to die. It's how he how he ended his life. And to me as a fan, I it, it shocked me. And it, I'm sure it shocked a lot of people around the world, all fans all over the globe. And um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold back a little bit of tears because I have been a fan of this guy since I was eight years old. And that was in 1989, I believe. Yeah. Good morning, Vietnam. You know, I, I don't want to say it out loud because I'm in an apartment and my neighbors will think I'm cuckoo. You know, <laughs> what really struck me is when he was playing Mrs. Doubtfire and Jeannie on the ladder. That's what made me fucking laugh my ass off. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine him? Being an old lady and actually pulling it off, I bet you he fooled a lot of people on set too. Oh, whose line is it anyway? Oh my God. I I think I laughed pretty much every single time he was on there. So <laughs> there was not a time that I was there not laughing throughout that show. On, when he made a personal appearance on there, a guest appearance, I was laughing my ass off so hard. I was like, <gasps> oh my God, that stuff occurs, you know? <laughs> it's just truly an honor and truly I, I'm just glad I was able to see um, his works, his legend, when I was still young, seeing it um, like build up and build up over the years and years to come, you know, be, being 33 years old and um, seeing it ever since I was eight years old, seeing him perform and making me laugh and everyone in my family were laughing their ass off to Mrs. Delphire especially, but just anything he's done, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, with him being a comedian and then now an actor, he's in dramatic roles in movies too, like um, Insomnia and What Dreams May Come. Some comedians, when they try to be dramatic, they end up being too over the top and too dramatic, and then they end up being funny, like, <laughs> he's funny, he, he doesn't know that. But Robin Williams, <laughs> that man can pull off a dramatic role without being funny. I'm just shocked, you know, because a lot of comedians, they try to be that way, they try to be serious, like, you know, but then <laughs> he's remarkable to to toggle between dramatic role and comedic role. It's I, I can't explain how I feel about that. He's one of the few and rare actors that I know can do that. Comedians that can do that. He is a truly remarkable man. I am one of his biggest fans. Many many years to come from now, he'll still be one of my biggest um, favorite comedians of all time. I just thank you for taking the time and patience to see my video. Um, this is my tribute and hats off, salute, honor to Robin Williams. Click like if you feel like this is worthy of liking. It should. It's talking about Robin Williams and the legacy that he left behind and the memories um, that we'll forever remember of him. And um, you can comment. Feel free. Please don't say anything negative. I will block it, <laughs> you know, because that's how I am about this. And um, you can share it if you want to as well. And um, once again, many, many thanks. Again, I'm saying many thanks everybody for watching this. And God bless you, Robin Williams.